I had a few minutes, so I thought I'd explain a tool that's very misunderstood, particularly here in Australia, and that's the auto taper, or as people commonly call it, the bazooka. This is the Tape Pro version, the uh, carbon fiber one, so they're called the Super Light. So the mechanics of a taper, I'll explain the mechanics. To do that, I'll take this cover off, cover plate off, and you can probably see a little bit more, bit more access to what's going on. So you fill through here, and that fills this tube up. As the tube fills up, it draws a piston down. That piston is attached to this cable. And as these wheels turn, when you're running with bazooka, it drags that cable up, which in turn drags that piston up, brings mud up through here. Your tape feeds from this roll in through the tape guide and up through here over your wheel. So as your tape comes up and your mud comes up, the back of your tape is covered with mud. So as you run along, you imagine you're running along your wall or your ceiling that's coming through. So then you come to the end of your joint, you need to cut your tape. So what you do is you pull the control lever, control tube, one sharp cut, and it cuts your tape. You go, yeah, great. But how does that actually work? Well, on these, you've got a cutter guide through there with a chain and a blade there. So it actually draws that blade through that channel and cuts the tape at that point, not up here, at that point. So therefore, you've got to think about uh, where you stop, how much lead time to leave it between your cut and um, where you want the tape to finish. So as your uh, piston comes up, it actually hits a little rod here, it lifts that control lever up, which disengages this drive dog. So then your wheels will spin, but it's not actually dragging the piston up anymore because it's already reached the end of its uh, journey. So that's time to refill. When you're refilling, you have that uh, pushed all the way up, put it in your um, a gooseneck, pump it full, and as you bring it up, you push this in, as you're bringing it up, that opens the gate again for feeding, not for filling, and also engages your drive dog. So, another feature is, um, obviously you've got your um, creaser wheel, which you use to, as a finger at times, for on your wall joints, ceiling joints, but uh, especially on internal angles, it actually runs in the corner. Another feature with the Tape Pro is the uh, backup brake or clutch. You hear that? So that's stopping that wheel from turning backwards, which therefore stops that piston from dropping down the tube and uh, getting air above your piston, which is certainly a bad thing. You don't want air on your tape. On the Tape Pro, this one is, is adjustable. So if I push that in, you can hear it engaging more. That front end loader goes by, engaging more, so that's a, a firmer. You back it off, and you can hear it. It's just engaging, but there, see it actually rolls backwards. You don't want that. So you want it so it's just good enough that it won't roll backwards and spins freely like that. With the Tape Pro, the uh, head disconnects from the control tube. So rotate that knob and you can pull that up. You disconnect your cutter chain, which I already have, and then disconnect the uh, cable for your creaser wheel. The whole head pops off for easy cleaning, allowing full access to the back of the head and also your tube.